Hey friends, Brother Brian, good seeing you again today. And for our devotion for Friday, I want to say uh, first of all, thanks to my wife for uh, recording for me every day. And she's doing a great job doing that. Also for Daniel for uh, getting those on our Facebook site. Also on the webpage. So guys, appreciate you all so much for doing this for us again. Don't forget friends, this Sunday morning, we will be having church uh, outside the parking lot. I'll be preaching from somewhere on the steps there. So uh, don't forget now, 11 o'clock. Uh, let me ask you this. You all be sure to pull up there uh, when you come. I know we want to get out and socialize and shake hands with all of us, but you just can't do it though. So uh, if you would, there'll be some guys there to help us park in the right place, get everybody there. But you all be sure if you can, stay in your cars and just wave to everybody. And it won't be long. We'll be back to church and, uh, and again. So uh, I want to read to you today. Again, from Romans 8, uh, what a great chapter this is. But I want to read to you verse 32 first, and then back up and read verse 31. Our Bibles today give us a, a great word here of what God has done for us. Of, of Just in a, a small one verse of what God is to all of us. Our Bibles say in Romans 8, 32, that he spared not his own son, God did that, but delivered him up for us all, not for a few, but every single one of us. The Bible says, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And God has done that. He continues to give us all things. And dear friends, when it comes to Christ, Everything in our life, it's all free. It didn't cost me and you a thing, dear friends, but it cost God everything. Now, back up there in verse 31, our Bibles say these great words. And if you highlight your Bibles, highlight these two here. Our Bibles say, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? I'm going to tell you right now who that is. Nobody can. Not the old devil. Not some virus, not the world, not those who may uh, set this about us. No one can. No one can be against us because God is always for us. What a great truth that is. Let me read it to you again. If God be for us, who can be against us? Dear friends, that truth should ring true in our hearts and minds because our Bibles also say there above that verse about how God has predestined us how God's called us, how God's justified us, glorified us, and friends, all those promises are free to us because of what God's done for us. No one and no thing can be against us. Let me remind you all once again about the Sunday morning service. Hope to all see you there. We will also be streaming live again like we always do. And uh, if you can't make it out or uh, don't feel safe too, we understand totally. We will also be live streaming again our service on Facebook, so you all be sure and tune in if you can't make our service outside. Also, we will be having a service at 9.30 on our local radio station there in Morgantown this Sunday. So if you can't be there, be sure and tune in to, in to Beach Tree. Uh, they're on our radio stations, and uh, you'll be able to hear the sermon there from last Sunday. So don't forget that too as well. That's, that's something new for our church that we just now started, okay? I want to be sure today to remember those in, in prayer of our church, uh, from our uh, prayer list, from those who've called and talked to me, uh, those who've had surgeries and procedures, those who have done well, uh, those who are sick right now, maybe have the virus and are, are, are recovering or, or maybe unsure yet. I just want to pray that for God to bless all today. Let's pray. Lord, today we pray that you will just uh, <clears throat> intervene, Lord, in this virus, God, once again. God, that your healing power will calm these fears, Lord. God, that your healing power will be so real. And God, through all this, God, that you'll be glorified. God, when everything's over and done, God, we'll always bring honor and glory and praise to you. God, once again, uh, for all the ones that are listening to prayer today, all those who may be sick in the hospital, those who may have lost loved ones, God. We pray, God, you'll also bless those today, God. And God, today, many, Lord, today, many today need your help. God, bless our nation, those who lead our country. 
God bless this world, the glory of the world, and through all these things that the world may see and bring glory to you once again. God, once again, bless Aberdeen Church, God. God, bless our efforts, Lord, to have church this Sunday, God. All of our Facebook friends, or also on the radio, God, bless all of us also here in God today. And God, once again, give you honor, glory, and praise, most of all for Christ, who went to that cross and gave his life for our sins. I pray his prayer, and amen.